Welcome to T7 Training Systems BlackBerry Z10 Tips and Tricks. If you're watching this video, chances are you have a BlackBerry Z10 and you're used to cascades, working with the apps and peeking into the hub. This is more about tips and tricks for the Z10. You can always turn on the Z10 by swiping up from the bottom. It's a great way to just peek at the time very quickly or to see what the date is, or look at your next appointment. When you get a phone call with the Z10, you can drag down to the bottom, of course, to answer the call, drag up to the top to reject the call, but you can also press the bar in the middle to let the call ring, but to silence the ring. When you have the flashing red light from a phone call, SMS, a BBM message or anything else, you can always turn off the flashing red light and the display by well, pressing the button the at the top. Uh, and your feedback's been incredibly valuable. When listening to music, you may be working on the phone doing something else. You can bring up the music controls sure by simply pressing the button at the side between the two volume buttons, or volume up, volume down. You can pause, play, go to the music player, and you can always peek at what your playlist is by uh, just dragging the picture down the and returning it back Publishers up. and authors had no way of knowing what happens when a reader... With the calendar, you may want to zoom in or zoom out to see more or less on the screen. Just pinch and zoom so you can see more or less detail on the screen. You can also view the six-month calendar. Just press the monthly button it will show the month and drag down. Now you can't just drag from the top to the bottom. You need to give it a bit of a swipe. And from here, you can see six months at a time. You can also press one of these months to jump specifically to that month. And at any stage, double press the day, week, month button to jump to the current day. Bring up the keyboard with a two finger swipe and hide it again with a two finger swipe. You can delete a word from the BlackBerry keyboard just by dragging from the right to the left. So in this case, I'm using predictive text to type in that text. But when I type in a word that I don't want, just swipe from right to the left and it will delete one word. If you use two fingers, then it's going to delete two words. Three fingers will delete three words and apparently even more fingers will delete even more words if you can fit them onto the screen. Instead of tapping the question mark one, two, three button and ampersand percentage button, you can change the keyboard just by swiping from top to the bottom. It cycles through the three options. Holding a particular key while you, prep, you type it is going to turn that key into a capital. You can also press and hold on the spacebar, and this is going to hide the on-screen keyboard and give you an attachment icon if you're working in an SMS. If you're working in an email, you'll get a slightly different set of options. One of those will be format when you hold the spacebar. Format's going to allow you to change colors, put in bullet points or numbered lists, larger or smaller text, bold, italics, underlined, etc. When you attempt to edit text, you're going to get a circle in the text showing you where you are editing. This circle can be a bit difficult to work with initially. The main thing to remember is you need to use it quite lightly. If you press and hold it strongly, it's not going to work very well. So use light touches with this circle. There's a couple of ways to use it. One is to swipe the circle to the left or right or up or down. As you can see, it just moves you around that text. Or you can press on the left, right, top or bottom of the circle to move it one character or one line at a time. If you're working with a browser, you may want to select a word, and you can select a word just by holding the word, but the longer you hold the word, the more of the paragraph or paragraphs it's going to select. It's actually a very clever way 
to select text on page. You can always view the name of the page just by dragging down from the top of the page. And when you start typing a word into a search engine, you're going to get a bar at the top. There is a drop down menu at the top right hand corner that will allow you to override the default Bing and choose, for example, Google or Yahoo as your search. When you're working with email, in the BlackBerry Hub, you can always scroll down from the very top, and this is going to give you the ability to see the upcoming appointments in your diary. You may find when you're working in the Hub, it always asks you, would you like to delete the thing you've just said you'd like to delete? If you find this to be an extra step, go to the settings and then the display. Down the bottom, you'll find delete message confirmation, which will delete that message straight away for you instead of asking for confirmation. And if you've got a lot of accounts, you can also use this area to choose what's going into your hub and just make it a little less busy if you don't want to see things from LinkedIn, for example. While you're there, you can always press and hold a date in the hub and press this button to say, I want everything prior to this date to be marked as red. At any stage, you can drag down from the top and peek at the date which is useful for just checking what the date is. But you can also drag down all the way and go into settings and, for example, go into accessibility. There's a setting here for magnify mode, which allows you to magnify any part of the BlackBerry 10 interface. So if you find things tend to be a bit small at stages, you can just pinch and zoom on any screen practically just to see what's going on, zoom in and make it a little easier to work with. If you wish to take a screenshot with your Z10, just press the volume up and volume down buttons. The screenshot will go into your pictures. From the lock screen, you can drag down the curtain for the nighttime mode, which makes the phone not too bright for when it's sitting next to your bed and also stops any phone calls from coming through. You can set the alarm just by dragging the little marker around the outside once you've turned it on get out of this mode, just drag up from the bottom. You may want to set a silent mode for the phone and of course you'd know dragging settings from the top and pressing the sound profile allows you to change that but it is much easier to press the icon and that puts you straight into silent mode or vibrate mode if that's the last one you've clicked. You can turn on or off Wi-Fi like this, or even turn on and off the alarm, just by pressing the icon. Add your tips and tricks to the comments section below and subscribe to T7 Training. You can also download a summary of these tips and tricks for the BlackBerry Z10 at our website t7.net.au slash knowledge base.